Hello YouTube uh, crafters of mini books and things such as that. I wanted to show you some of the flowers that I made last night and this morning and give a mini spoken tutorial of how to make them. Um, I was watching videos last night and I found one where she, the girl was making flowers from used dryer sheets. So I thought, well, I can do that. It doesn't take a dye and um, it's real simple and, and that's my style. And then I was watching others and um, I learned another technique on how to color the dryer sheets. So I'll try to zoom in on one of these. I can't. I'm on my iPod, so I can't zoom in. I can just go like this. Um, what I did was cut out circles and in graduated size from used dryer sheets. And I used, to color them, um, Perfect Pearls Mists. And this is Perfect Copper. I found this at my local scrapbooking store. I thought I'd try it... Um, because I keep hearing about glimmer mist. So I colored the flowers or the circles and when they were dry I stacked them up one large one medium and one small and I um, held them together with a brad in the middle. And I got up this morning I thought well they look a little sad without having anything else on them so I decided to make leaves. And I took another dryer sheet and this time I colored it with um, Ranger Distress Ink Pine Needles Green and that was that's kind of messy to do that it's another technique that I learned last night on a different video I used rubber gloves because uh, your hands get all inky and I put them on and you lay the dryer sheet on top of the ink pad and you press down and the color just seeps up through and colors the dryer sheet. So, and it makes a real delicate color, as you can see. Um, and when they were done, I had to use uh, hot glue to connect them. I tried to use glossy accents, but it didn't work. And uh, you can see the finished product. I used, um, I didn't cut, take out my copper stickles to go around the flower edges, and I used my see if I can do this. Uh, I'm using my iPod, so... Oh, there we go. My stickles, holly color, to put the details on the leaves. I hope that some of you might try this. It's very simple, and the flowers, I think, turned out very pretty. Um, thank you very much for watching. Bye.